So I figured I would make a, another short video that shows another possibly easier way to reverse engineer this. It might be easier to show in a demonstration. So what I think I should do, I guess, so we're at a stage here where we've revolved the inner piece. We've best fit with the mesh fit tool two surfaces. I'll go ahead and do the other two on the small one. Like so. And then the way uh, I've done these uh, a couple times is if I come in and this time when we do a revolve basically draw this shape the whole blade shape um, you'll see here in a second so if I draw this blade shape And we're going to revolve it actually as a solid this time. And then use those surfaces as uh, trim surfaces instead. Uh, surface cut surfaces, I guess, is the way to say it. So there, then we'll just turn on the, the CAD and the surfaces we have <clears throat> and then revolve it as a solid, not all the way around. Just make sure it goes all the way through both of those guys. Then hide the inner revolution right and then the way this goes is uh, just use the surface cuts so if I come over here to model and I say cut and I'll use the outer one first clear it see this is where it gets a little tricky you gotta only select the right one and then say you want to keep this side only like that and then cut this one that one and then only keep this and then if I hide those two surfaces boom I have this now we use the same trick as we did before you can do this ahead of time or you can do this after the fact but if you just roll back to right after that revolve, you come over to transform body, you hit duplicate, next, okay. Now there's two of those guys. Then when you roll to the end, that other one that got uh, trimmed away is still there, right? And then you have a new one that you can trim with these. Now the issue with these is remember that top it's a shorter one <clears throat> so the only thing you have to do here is you could do let's look at the part real quick just to make sure I'm thinking the right thing I would honestly end up doing a revolve cut of just that one as a sketch so I would do another one
and I would rotate to rotate it till it gets right for that just that small blade and then this is where you can adjust the silhouette range to a smaller that way you can see basically you're just looking for the angle of that piece right there of the small one and uh, I'm just going to best fit, use the resize, and make it huge because we're trimming that sir, the, the CAD. And you can turn on the solid body and see. Now when you get out, actually, you don't want to go so far that it intersects again. Oops. We'll use resize again. You don't want to go too big because if it re-intersects the solid body, then it's confused as to how it's got a trim. So let's just do it just inside of the axis there. So we'll just do two more. After I revolve the surface, I will do a cut with surface, target bodies. This sometimes just makes more sense to customers to do things with solids surfaces can be a pain and then now that I cut that top off I'll just do two more cuts one with this and whenever you get that it's usually because it doesn't quite intersect so that's exactly what the case is right here so I'm I'll go fix it right now rather than do the other one first but if you just extend that like one millimeter Almost always it's because it doesn't intersect all the way. Um, now cut. And then keep this side. Actually, I did the wrong side. So if you edit, you go to the remaining bodies, clear it out, and then select the proper side. do another cut for that one this one keep the piece so that's the solids method instead of doing crazy trims you see it's kind of it's more steps in the tree but sometimes that just makes more sense to people to do it that way um, so that is the solid trimming method.